Oh, God. <laughs> um, we touched upon it a little bit earlier, but uh, Ubisoft is making a new open world Star Wars game. Mm-hmm. They didn't really go into too many details aside that they're, it's Ubisoft uh, Massive, the studio behind the division, too, that's going to uh, be working on it. Hiring writers for it. Uh, one of the writers at that studio just posted a uh, job app on uh, Twitter yesterday, specifically I'm saying, ex- come and help write the new Star Wars game. I'm just excited that there's going to be Star Wars games coming from at basically anyone that's not EA. Yeah. Like, I, I think Battlefront 2 is in a good place now. Fallen uh, Order was a great yeah, thing. Fallen, Fallen Order was was really, really great. It wasn't my I, thing. I found it fun. It wasn't my thing. But mm-hmm. it, it's, 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 it's nice that Disney's finally just being like, go for it. <laughs> I, I just want more creativity with that universe like star wars doesn't just have to be let's go shoot dudes or, or stuff like swinging that. lightsabers like, mm-hmm. like it's a whole freaking universe you, you can do anything with it yeah so like two um, things on that i i have a suspicion fallen order is the only reason ea could still make the like still has a license because that stuff did not go can, off i can see that well. uh fallen order did did them justice yeah fallen order like Respawn literally saved EA twice in one year with Apex and Fallen and, and Jedi <laughs> Fallen Order. So they're they're the they they can call the shots. And you say that about like, oh, I hope like there's other Star Wars games that aren't just about shooting dudes and whatnot, right? Um these are the people that made the division two. <laughs> I I understand I think, that. Yeah, I mean personally, I played both of the Division games, I put a good amount of hours in mm-hmm. both of them. Division two was two. a was a far better game than Division one, in my honest mm-hmm. op- opinion. They took what they learned from from the first game and like super pushed it towards Division two. And people seem to forget that Ubisoft's been working on licensed games for for a while. Ever. No, yeah. Not count. Every Tom Clancy game is a licensed game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like even even the Division, Rainbow Six is Break Breakpoint is, and I I know some some people were kind of iffy because I know a lot of people didn't like the the uh, Division Two, which is totally fine. There were some parts of it that I wasn't a a fan of, but I think that team can do a lot more, and giving them Star Wars I think is a really smart. Mm-hmm. I, I will say going back to like specifically um, Ubisoft Massive and the Division Two. I do not want a Star Wars game that's basically the Division Two. It's not political. I would. Ho- I would oh no. I, oh, oh no. Oh yeah, me, not political me, whatsoever, me, dude. Me neither. I don't want them to like just do Star Wars <laughs> Division. Like no. So I, I want them to like. I would take like just a straight up. Uh, I, I know this isn't exactly what I want because I want them to like do it to experiment, but I would far prefer like an Assassin's Creed Star Wars over a Division Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Um, the second I saw that announcement, literally all the alarm bells in my head going off were like Mandalorian game, Mandalorian <laughs> game, Mandalorian game. And it's just like, that, that's gotta be in the works. I think if, I think it's either it's this or someone's doing it. I just, it just seems someone's like it makes too much sense. Someone's likely doing it. Yeah. You can play as a Mandalorian in Fortnite. Does that count? Hell yeah, it does. <laughs> See, now, God forbid we do end up getting that, that Mandalorian game. And if Ubisoft if if your if your alarm bells are right, Bronson, and Ubisoft's doing it, let me customize my Mandalorian. Let me pick a female Mandalorian. Let I me suspect like, that I suspect it would be that. Like you're you're a Mandalorian, you do missions to get better armor, which you can customize. You go on raids to get special. Is, like, that's like, Creed. <laughs> yeah, like it. It, it, fits, very, it fits. It fits. It fits very well in terms of the framework. Again, just spitballing on that of course like especially with the newer uh, assassin's creed i feel like that would actually kind of rock because like ubisoft seems to know what they're doing with the newer uh, uh, uh assassin's creeds and... i think i was talking to s- someone i think it was uh darkwing over on um over on the sdgc discord they would brought up we shouldn't necessarily be celebrating star wars going from one giant corporation to another giant corporation but like out of the two i think ubisoft is infinitely mm-hmm. the lesser of two evils and they they let their developers do more creative things versus what's going to make the most money i mean just uh, just look at the original watchdogs to watchdogs 2 dude yeah. like fucking 180 
total, total shift made that s- series so much better. All because they, they their, should do... their people probably spoke up and was like, this isn't like a serious... Hacking's not that serious anymore. Like, hacking's like a weird, like, meme now. They should, they should do a Mario plus Rabbids uh, plus Ewoks game. Let that oh, be the sequel. There you go. 